Hello everyone and welcome to today's meditation. It's the day after a big holiday for some of us and um, it can be an emotional time of year. People have lost people or there's family dynamics or you don't have a family to go to. Many, many, many emotions around this time of year. So let's take a moment to ground and then we will investigate what's happening inside. And all, all feelings are welcome. We're here to feel the feelings. So make yourself comfortable and I'll ring the bell. So let's slowly arrive to this much needed pause. Letting the eyes close or softening the gaze and lowering the eyes. And feeling whatever's underneath you, being grateful for its firmness or softness. Letting yourself be held by the chair, the couch, the bed, the cushion. I'm thinking back to the big or small event yesterday, the day before. Maybe you're seeing images, that's just fine. or feeling emotions. Just naming the emotions that are here. Maybe there was happiness and joy, excitement, or grief. Sadness, frustration, anger. Or maybe it was all mixed together, bits of each. Noticing your breathing. And 
Letting the breathing, the breath, calm you a little bit. Letting whatever is underneath you hold your full weight. Feeling yourself be heavy. And hearing the sounds in the room around you, outside. Feeling into that spaciousness. Breathing into all that space. Feeling again into the pull of gravity, pulling you towards the earth, to the ground, the floor. Letting you know that you belong. You belong to the earth. And slowly, gently coming back to those emotions. Maybe it was a joy overload or a melancholy Christmas or something else. And what are the sensations that are here as you think about your celebration? Just noticing what's arising. You 
continuing to breathe as the sensations shift. Noticing if the sensations have shifted in intensity or they've spread. And you feel free to put a hand wherever you want on the sensation area or your heart. And just being kind to yourself for a moment. The holidays can be a real tricky, hard time for some of us. We're here. We're here together showing up brave, courageous to be in our bodies, to include this too. And say to yourself, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. This was hard, this is hard. Saying anything you need to, to yourself, to soothe or calm your tender heart. You can keep your heart there or your hand there. Keep your heart there. And your hand can come down or not. Just feeling that warmth in the heart area. And see if you can invite the body to release and relax any tension that's been built up over the last while. You can imagine the tension melting like ice to water. Letting the jaw fall open a little. Relaxing the whole face. 
letting the shoulders drop down and back. And just taking a few minutes to rest in your anchor, be it breath, sound, or touch. And gently returning to the anchor if the mind has wandered. And taking a few deep breaths will end the practice today. And feel free to wiggle a little. I left an extra minute for some movement you can roll anything roll your shoulders your neck stretch also like some people like to shake so you can kind of shake whatever wants to shake whatever speaks to you stretching shaking there's also swiping you can swipe anything you didn't want in your body Swipe your legs. So you can just continue doing that as much as you like. Just releasing whatever needs to be released. And I want to say amazing for showing up for yourself in this busy, super rushy time of year. It's great to pause. Um, and we can always do uh, holidays differently. You know, there's always a choice for us to do something different to make it more peaceful, tranquil, easier on the body. And uh, meditation always helps. Even if you have a busy mind, it still, you know, helps you check in with what's going on. So I uh, encourage you to keep moving, walking. Maybe you do some kind of movement practice. Uh, and hydrate and 
nap and take really good care of yourself. And I wanted to announce quickly, I'm on Instagram at Coral Short, and I will be leading a meditation challenge um, 9 a.m. the whole month of January if you want to join me live there. There's also a New Year's retreat coming up with Queer Sangha. It's on the Queer Sangha Instagram. And also Jill Davey is leading a residential retreat. So um, we look forward to all those things. Thank you so much for your practice. And I wish you a restful post-holiday uh, day, days. And take good care. See you soon.